it's finally official. Thailand's quarantine-free reopening will begin starting on November 1st. Announced earlier this month, the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration and Thailand Prime Minister Prayut chan o -cha confirmed plans are actually going to go ahead. Fully vaccinated travelers from the UK, US, Germany, Singapore, and China can visit Thailand with no quarantine requirements, permitting they have proof of vaccination and a negative RT-PCR test prior to arrival. A total of 19 provinces will welcome tourists back to start with. Popular destinations including Phuket, Samui, Hua Hin, Pattaya, and Bangkok have all been included. The Bangkok Post is also reporting that the CCSA hopes to reopen as many as 16 additional provinces before the end of the year. Like most new regulations in Thailand, this is a very fluid situation. So with that in mind, here are three things you should know about Thailand's quarantine-free reopening. The first thing you are going to want to know is that other countries could be added to the quarantine-free reopening travel list before the end of the year. While only five countries deemed to have a low risk of spreading COVID-19 are part of the first wave of these plans, it's highly likely more do get added. The current plan runs from November 1st to December 31st, but this can be extended or amended by the government. As we saw with the Phuket Sandbox, officials will analyze what's working with the program as well as infection and vaccination rates in other countries. Should Thailand's quarantine-free reopening be successful in that first month or so, the government could move quickly to open the country further as long as it's safe to do so. The second thing you're going to want to know is that the COE, or Certificate of Entry process, is likely being replaced. Now, many potential visitors to Thailand, and in particular the Phuket Sandbox, have been put off by the COE system, which has been required to enter the country during the pandemic. For most people, this is no longer going to be necessary. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Digital Government Development Agency announced they are developing the Thailand Pass system, which is going to replace the dreaded COE. Arrivals would need to input information and upload documents into the Thailand Pass application prior to arrival. The government hopes to have this system ready by the country's reopening on November 1st, but plans can change. The final thing you should know is that most places in Thailand are not only ready, but excited to welcome tours back. However, there are going to be some differences you should take note of. For example, entertainment venues aren't expected to reopen until December at the earliest, and alcohol consumption in restaurants still isn't permitted. Additionally, Arrivals are expected to follow social distancing measures and masking policies as well. At the end of the day though, the things everyone loves about Thailand are still here and waiting to be enjoyed. The food, the culture, the scenery, and the people are all the same. Between that and the discounts you can find for Thailand's quarantine-free reopening, eligible travelers should at least consider visiting before the end of the year. For more information about Thailand and real estate in the kingdom, be sure to visit thailandproperty.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis, Dot Property Group Editor-in-Chief, and we'll see you next time.